I'm trying to replace the sticky latch release button right here on the second gen Sequoia. So over time, this plastic here, as you can see here, it's um, kind of being deformed and it feels like it's uh, sticky. So I got a replacement part from Toyota. Um, I'm going to show you how to replace this. And this is the replacement part number, 84840350110, just called switch. And this is the part that we're going to replace today. And here are the tools, just some trim removal tool, a 10 millimeter socket, wrench and a flathead and fillet socket. Okay, first, I already uh, went ahead and removed this strap, the one that that sits right here it's a 10 millimeter bolt so go ahead and remove that and then you might also want to if you have the power uh, tailgate you might want to remove this strut right here or the you know part of the mechanism that push the the latch um, the hatch up when you press the open button it has this clip right here that sits um, over it like that I already removed mine it looks similar like the bottom one so why you to do you insert your uh, flathead screwdriver up here and pry it up uh, just be careful because this will launch and you might lose it so keep track of where this clip is and then uh, once you um, remove that clip you can easily undo this and just set it aside like that since we're gonna need access um, to the back of this cover right here you want to start removing your trim panel from the top right here. So remove this one and remove this side here, like this one. Let's see if I can do this. I'm going to need my trim removal. But yeah, once you remove this, you can remove the side and this side. Once you remove the, uh, the three panels on the, uh, on the window frame, this big one, you could just easily pull it from the edge right here and it'll, it'll be all pins all around the edges like all those uh, plastic push pin or clip and then you'll get access to the back of the um, this cover right here once you remove the cover you're gonna just peel open this cover right here and then you will see two 10 millimeter bolts after that you should be able to pull this out That, and you're just gonna have to disconnect this um, cable right here for the switch and to disconnect that you go back to from inside panel and disconnect this and you're gonna feed this through the hole and that way you can free the whole assembly out of the tailgate once you get it out you want to turn around you want to remove this uh, black plastic portion here uh, from the housing there, there are two tabs, one right here and one on the other side right here. Uh, once you release that, this whole assembly will come off. Once you have it out, uh, last thing to do is just removing these two Phillips screw and you'll be able to uh, take out the button. I just noticed that the um, replacement that I got had a different pigtail compared to the original one. so. Um, I was thinking of cutting this and splicing it into the wire but um, after looking at it it has the switch inside so I'm uh, probably just gonna end up switching the switch inside into the uh, the new housing so that's what we're gonna do all right so I just finished swapping the um, the old switch into the new housing as you can see there that's the new um, switch and there's the old one oh gosh it's so sticky and it feels melted so when you um, you can open the cover and this is the switch that sits inside like oh, and there's these two holes right here this one and the other side and it um, line up with this tab right here and right here so it sits like this inside something like that and this is the every time you open the trunk when you press the button this is what 
the switch that you pressed so yeah thankfully uh, they're the same so it's easily swappable so now I don't need this part um, now I can put this back together into the housing and then we can install it back so installing it just don't forget to tuck all the wire back again just to make it clean and there's this uh, clip down there just push that black clip back in the hole and um, just feed the wire through and this cover will just slide in like that <clears throat> and then on the inside grab the end of this tail feed it through this hole right here pull it gently line it up and then you get this rubber grommet so this one's quite easy just pull it until the whole thing comes through like that and some clipping just like that that's done I need to roll my window back up so that way I can install the I don't know if you can see it but the two screws the two bolts I mean the one there and the other one right there all right so let's roll it back up now just in case um, after you did all of that and your um, trunk doesn't want to open the hatch doesn't want to open when you press the tailgate button or when you press this um, uh, from the interior and all you hear is just beep uh, without any movement um, <clears throat> there's a chance that you have an error um, because the trunk believe it or not has its own module so I have this scanner very very useful um, it allows me to scan all the modules um, in the truck it's called the uh, Foxwell NT510 Elite it has a preloaded Toyota uh, software in it so what I did I just go to let me just walk you guys through here there's manual selection and it will detect just scan everything and once it finish scanning it just find sequoia where is it here we go and then just go my model year 2013 uh, us fbe laser cruise and hit ok and now you have um, options here you go to diagnosis and then I just want to go straight to that module in the back control module. Um, let me see. There you go. Back door control system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So what I did earlier is I uh, I went to read codes. Now I will say that I have nothing. But earlier it says that um, there is um, there is a code for the latch system in the back. So what I did I just reset it. I just went to uh, clear codes, I clear it, and everything works fine. If you don't have this scanner, another way is just to disconnect your battery. I would say just leave it disconnected for maybe like 30 seconds to a minute, and then you um, connect it back, and it should reset the um, ECU and everything. So that way you'll have um, um, the ability to open the tailgate again with the, that button that you just replaced, or the interior button in, in the car. So I hope this helps, um, comment down below if you have any questions, if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe and have a good day.